Right, give it up for her. There we go. We're gonna keep moving here. All right, everybody, put their hands together for Richard Hatch. Thank you, Lanny. Uh, hey, did anybody else pick up on that uh, dolphin theme? It's kind of understated, but then some of you know it. I, I, I noticed it, uh, it was pointed out to me, and I thought, you know, maybe it means, I'm trying to understand the symbolism, DJ, because I'm not from that tradition, and I thought maybe it means there's something a little bit fishy about this marriage. But no, 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 Bill Palmer pointed out, dolphins are not fish, they are mammals. And apparently he knows, he's the universal life, he says it symbolizes that Sean and PJ, unlike so many here tonight, actually got married on purpose. Oh. Oh. All, right. Uh, all right, but enough hilarity. It's my understanding that nobody eats until the show is over, so I shall be brief. According, there, there are three kinds of magicians in India. There are the fakirs that everybody's heard about. They walk on uh, burning coals, sleep on beds of nails. They're the lowest caste magicians. The highest caste magicians are the Jaduwala. Jadu means magic, Wala means man. And in India, the Jaduwala are not regarded as mere tricksters, but by many as Mahatmas, great spirits, great souls, who have mastered Maya, the art of illusion, whose followers sometimes make long pilgrimages, perhaps once in a lifetime to experience, to witness the miracles and the mysteries of the Jaduala. As they perform, they always tell a kind of story. According to the Jaduala, there comes a time in everyone's life when his or her spirit becomes as fragile as a piece of thread. When that moment arrives, the spirit, like the thread, begins to break into its many strands. There's a part of the soul that has the capacity to love, but there's another part of the soul that has the capacity to hate. There's a part of the soul that experiences anger, but a corresponding part of the soul that experiences peace, tranquility. There's a part of the soul that knows great sorrow, but thank goodness there's a corner of the soul that knows only happiness and joy. Now, according to the Jaguala, when the time has come and the spirit has broken into its many strands, then a great change takes place because a man or a woman that is broken in spirit cannot survive. And so the body dies, and at the moment of death, the pieces fly from the body to the far reaches of the universe, which they circle not just once, not just twice, but finally three times, until at last they come to rest, suspended at the very edges of the universe, where they may remain, perhaps for 100 years, perhaps for 1,000 years, perhaps even for 100,000 years. But, say the Jaguala, there will come a day when the pieces, the strands, receive a call, because on that day the great wheel of karma will have turned Full circle. Watch the pieces, the strands, as they receive their call. Wait a minute. Thank you. PJ, I'm going to give that to you as a souvenir. Because uh, you registered at the, the thread store. No, according to the Jadua, if you keep that and do not break it, it will bring you luck. So don't untie all the little knots. Let's hear it for PJ and John. <laughs>